Hi everyone. It's uh, Saturday the 22nd of uh, May 2010. Very hot day in the south of England. Absolutely scorching here in the shack. Anyway, today, as you can probably gather, um, looking at the screen, a uh, new arrival at the shack. It's a uh, Cobra 200 GTL DX. A full featured uh, 10 meter uh, transceiver with uh, 30 watts of RF uh, power on uh, FM and AM and uh, 100 watts on uh, SSB. So uh, it's a new one, it's arrived today but something had to give and uh, unfortunately the FT920 uh, has uh, departed from the shack today, it's gone to a, uh, a new home, a new licensee who hopefully will get as much fun from the uh, 920 as I as I certainly did. Anyway, what came this way uh, is uh, a beautiful radio, Cobra 200. Just got it ticking over here on uh, 28 decimal five. So it covers uh, CW, FM, AM, upper and lower sidebands. Uh, four blocks. They seem to be somewhere in the region of about 60 channels each. I'll find out more as I uh, get used to the rig. Uh, covers basically 28 to uh, 29.7 megs and of course it uh, goes a little bit below that as well for those of you that know this uh, particular radio. It's got volume squelch, mic gain, RF gain, uh, clarifier, KC shift, uh, built-in SWR, uh, an echo facility to check your audio which we can probably do here. Testing one, two, three. So, you know, it's uh, it's clearly a top end uh, monoband rig for uh, 28 megs, nice uh, sort of analog type uh, meter. And of course, it's got the night watch as well, which uh, those of you that have seen the uh, other posts I've done, Cobra 29's got a night watch facility. It's a beautiful rig. Um, just alongside it, you can see the difference in size between the uh, Jackson 2 and the Cobra. I've got these non-slip mats. I've got one on sat on top of the um, Jackson 2 to protect the lid. I'll be doing one for the uh, Cobra 200 shortly. So, I give you the Cobra 200 GTL DX full featured 10 meter monobander. Thanks for looking.